Hi, everybody. Welcome to Karen's Craft Corner. This is my first full video. Um, so my channel is called Karen's Craft Corner, and we will be just discussing any crafts. I like to cross stitch, um, crochet, knit, and I do a little diamond painting. My daughter's really into diamond painting, so I have done some of that. But today I have a yarn unboxing. I am doing a pattern test for um, a, a designer and um, I had to order some yarn and I ordered from Little Knits, which um, I really like. They have really fast customer service. Um, I ordered the yarn on my birthday on the 12th of June, and I just got it today, so it did come in pretty fast. Um, and I ordered it from, oh, I said that already, Little Knits. So I went ahead and ordered what I needed for the pattern test. And I also, later in the day, I got a email for a, um, no, it was the next day. I got an email for the same place and they were doing mystery bags on their Cascade Whirly Gig and they had put them cheaper than what I had paid for the five pack the day before. So I went ahead and ordered that. And then also on my birthday, I got points from Lion Brand. So I was able to get a $20 off coupon. So I went ahead and ordered some yarn from Lion Brand as well. So I am planning on unboxing that. And um, I haven't opened it at all. So I'm really excited to see it. And I will um, do that right here with you. Alrighty, so I think we will start with the Lion Brand. Um, so this, I just ordered a one kind so I can make a project with it. Tried to get enough um, to make a project. Hopefully I did. So this is all the same color. So I got the Scarfy Light from Lion Brand. It's very soft. Um, I have never had this one before. It is um, a number four weight medium. You can see that it is three and a half ounces, 349 yards, 320 meters. It's 43% acrylic, 41% polyester, and 9% nylon, 7% wool. It says to use a five millimeter knitting needles or a six millimeter crochet hook. Um, so that, that's what it looks like if you can see that. Um, it's very fuzzy, it's very soft. I'm thinking this would make a good, um, like a sweater or, I don't know if I'll have enough, I did get, I got four balls, five balls, sorry, five balls. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to make um, like a little cardigan or a shrug even, something that can be up against my skin because it is so soft. Very scarfable, as Baggy Day would say. Um, so that is that one. Hope I was able to show you well enough so fuzzy. I can see this is going to be hard if I frog, so I'm going to want to make sure I know what I'm doing before I start um, crocheting. Put that away. And then I'm going to, I don't know which is which on these boxes. It came in two separate boxes, and I do not know which is which. So here we go. slice to the tape. Okay. You have scissors. You have scissors right here on your desk. Love tape. 
so beautiful. Won't check it into this yarn, do they? There we go. Alrighty. Okay, so this is the one that I ordered for my project that I'm doing. I got a five pack of the same color. So this is the Cascade, oops, upside down, Cascade Whirly Gig. And I got the um, berry color, I believe it is called. Let's see here what color. Berry Crush is the name of it. Um, color number 10. These are cakes and they are, um, they go a long ways. So what I'm doing is it's going to be a dress. I do have it right here, what I've got done so far. I got the front panel totally done. So it's going to be a dress and I already have some um, cakes of the Whirly Gig in different colors and I cut them apart so that they would kind of just go in a really nice fade from greens down to blues and then I'm going to go to purples which is why I got the oh, I should take that out of the plastic it's glaring so we got the um it's got all the different purples in here and it goes to some reds or it goes to a, a reddish color too. So I'll probably cut these apart. There's blues in here that I'll add into the blue section. So I'll cut these apart just like I did the other one. And then um, it has the front piece here. It'll be a tank dress. It's called the high-low halter dress is what it's called by Fosbass Designs. And um, then the back has two sections and then it has to have a button you put a button on it so the back has the two I'm still hooked to my yarn here has the two sections so when i cut it apart i can use like one section for each of them and then the next section all i have to do is this last little bit on this one put that same color on here and then i hook it together and i will be um working in the round after that. So once it's in the round, it's going to be a little bit easier. I won't have to split it between the three pieces anymore, but I'm still going to cut these apart so that I have a ball of each color so that it's really easy to just grab the next color. I want it to go a solid gradient. I don't want it to flip back and forth between colors. That is my plan anyway. So that's what that is for. I got five of these. It takes I think it was like 3,000 yards, she says. These whirly gigs have a lot of yarn in them. They are a three weight DK. They're 60% superwash merino wool, 20% nylon, 20% acrylic, 200 grams, 546 yards. And I got five of them and I already had two skeins that I cut apart. I believe it was two full skeins, might not have been two full ones. Um, I had gotten a mystery bag back when Bag -a Day, Crystal from Bag -a Day did put um, them on. They were on sale and I got some then and I did a couple of tests for um, Journey Chanel designs. So I used one of them for one of this exact same one for a test for her Diamonds in the Sky cardigan for her for the child version and I did it for my daughter. And I used this when I let her pick which color she wanted out of the mystery pack. And she picked my favorite, the purples, because purple is my favorite color. I love all shades of purple. This one's probably my favorite, this um, in between, like more purplish color, more than the reds or the darkers. But anyway, she picked that one. So I did her a sweater out of that. And um, then... I knew I was going to get more. So when this dress pattern came up, I loved it and I wanted more of this, but I didn't want to wait till this came in to get started. So then that's when I come up with the idea of using other colors and just going from the greens down to the purples, more of a rainbow color. Plus on the picture for um, the pattern test from the designer, um, it actually had, she, she did rainbow cakes and it went, I think it went the whole gamut. And I loved it, so I had to do something like that. Okay, so let's get into this mystery pack because I am so excited to see what's in here. Let's see what we have. Where's my scissors? Okay. 
so excited. I can't wait to see what's in here. another cake of this one and then I got some more purples this is going to be so perfect and I got some greens in here but I think I've already gone past the greens and moved into the blues but yeah I can make something else with this later too this is gorgeous so this one says it's color number 18 I can't remember what color that is but that is purples and greens and so this would have been perfect to put some of these greens in with that one um, but I think I got some good greens in there but I got more different purples um, yeah, there's a couple of different shades of purple that are going to go really well with that and then I did get another of the berry crush this is one I actually debated on getting some of the berry crush and some of this in the beginning so I'm so excited I got that one and then this one is color number 15. There's some really pretty oranges and um, this would make something good for the fall because it's got greens and oranges and browns and that always reminds me of fall going from, I mean, if it had yellow in there, it would be even better, but yeah, I like that one. And then I can't remember if this one is the carnival. I think so. This one's called Carnival, but I'm not sure. It's number three. I think it is a Carnival. That's the one I remember that had all of the rainbow colors. And that was another one I debated on is just getting all the rainbow. I mean, this has most of the rainbow. There's no yellow, but this has most of the rainbow in it. So I was thinking this um, would be a really good one to do something like this with. And then this one is color number six and this is actually one of the cakes that i started with i had this one and i had one called seattle i think this one's called arctic and the other one i started with was called seattle and um those are the colors that are actually in here now is the arctic and the seattle so um i don't want to rip back i'm almost done with the top but this um would have given me more of the greens and blues to get more length in here but I think it's going to be perfect going to the blues I've got I can add more blues in here because I'm just starting on the blues so I can add some more of the blues in here and I actually am thinking to use the turquoise one of these turquoises and to do because you still have to go around um the sides of the armholes because this is going to be like this and so there's still quite a bit of a section that'll go in. I don't know if you can see that. I'm kind of low here. There's quite a bit of a section that goes around the sides over here um, to put some more length around the armholes. So I can use that turquoise. That was one of the things I wanted to do. I was actually saving a turquoise and didn't put it in before the blues so that I could use it there. And that will, that will be good to have that too. And I think there's actually some of that in this one too. This one has that same turquoise in it. So that's going to be awesome. I am so excited for these colors. Thank you everybody for joining my first or watching my first Yarny video. I'm hoping to be able to um, do them every few days. I do work full time at home. So I'm hoping to still be able to um, put on some new videos and um, I'm planning on doing maybe a whip parade so that you can see all the different things that I've gone on between cross stitching and crochet. Um, this um, design test, I think I have till the 10th of August to, to finish that. So I still have some time that I can work on other things as well. So I'm planning on putting something together with um, all my whips and I am so excited to start on this um, YouTube journey. And I hope um, that you guys will all subscribe and like and um, just enjoy my videos. Thank you very much. You guys have an awesome day.